What's up, everyone? It's Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Baylor versus UC Santa Barbara college basketball matchup going down Friday, March 17th, 2023. Before we get to that free pick, got to let you guys know at PickDogs.com, we're doing it bigger and better than anyone else. Got more free pick videos on our channel than you'll find anywhere else on YouTube, so make sure you're subscribed. And also take advantage of our free sportsbook bonus offer, the link in the description of this video below. Now, while I do love giving out free picks, if you're looking for my best bets, the games I love the most, including my daily $15 best bet, Check out PickDogs.com and click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. Now let's get to this one between uh, UC Santa Barbara and Baylor. It's a uh, 3 versus 14 matchup in the NCAA tournament first round. As you got the Baylor Bears at 22 and 10 on the year, 16, 15, and uh, 1 against the number this season. Meanwhile, UC Santa Barbara 27 and 7 on the year, 21, 10, and 1 against the number this season. Now, you know, Baylor. It was a Baylor team that I still think is extremely talented. You know, they, they didn't necessarily finish the season all that strong, but they still have solid players, you know, LJ Cryer, Adam Flagler, and, and the like. And, you know, we've seen Baylor, you know, it's the offense. This is, this is still a Baylor team that can really, you know, be solid offensively. They're still uh, still second in the country in adjusted offensive efficiency. Uh, just outside the top 15 effective field goal percentage, 32nd in the country uh, shooting the three. But this UC Santa Barbara team, you know, they're not one that you're going to want to sleep on. You know, they're 71st in the country in offensive efficiency as well. Even better in effective field goal percentage, 29th the Gauchos are. But the thing for me here is that, yes, you know, the, the uh, UC Santa Barbara Gauchos maybe don't necessarily have the big game experience that uh, that uh, that Baylor has. And, I mean, this UC Santa Barbara team, they only played one team inside the Ken Palm Top 100 this season. And that was UC Irvine twice in conference play. But UC, or, excuse me, UC Santa Barbara, they still, like I said, they could still put up points. And the thing is for UC Santa Barbara is they're still top 25 in two-point shooting percentage, which is big because that's where a lot of their points come from. And this is going up against a Baylor defense that is 314th in the country in two-point defense. Baylor's defense definitely started to slip a little bit. And, you know, it, it stinks that this, you know, Baylor team couldn't get over the, the hump. I mean, they lost back-to-back -back games to Iowa State to close out the year. And even prior to that, you know, Baylor's defense really let them down. That's why they dropped four of their last six games to close out the year. And while I do think Baylor is the better team and has a really good shot at moving on here, I just think this is a case of too many points against a talented UC Santa Barbara team with a pro level, excuse me, a pro level player in AJ Mitchell um, that can definitely keep the uh, the Gauchos in this game. I think ten and a half just far too many. I look for the Gauchos to make a game of this potentially have a shot to win it outright so give me uc santa barbara plus the points in this one that's going to be my free pick but just a reminder if you haven't already make sure you're subscribed to our channel smash the like button hit that thumbs up it doesn't cost you a cent and it helps us out a ton and if you're looking for my best bets you can find those at pick dogs premium while you're at pick dogs check out our betting tools they're 100 free they're the best betting tools in the business and tools that you'll want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action thanks for watching we'll see you guys soon